So apparently there's this thing called a Wii, and it's a games console, and people make games for it, and I happen to have one, and I have some games for it that I'm going to stream on Twitch, which is a site where you can stream games, but you can't use emotes tonight, because net neutrality is a thing, and everything is loading, except non-global emotes, like... Tidens Taco, which is now live and you can use, as I will now demonstrate by using it. What a revolutionary concept to use something. But yeah, this is a thing. My mic is low. That is absolutely true. Why is that? It's at full volume on my end. Hold on one moment. See, this is the great thing about audio. It breaks every single time I used it. When I, I don't know, it broke particularly badly today. When I turned on my computer, it thought my microphone was my speakers and was trying to output audio to my speakers. Which is probably why this thing is messed up. So we go to properties, levels, set 50. If I take that up to 100, I think now it should be good. I don't know why it went back down to 50. It's like every, all the audio things reset. I don't know why that happened, but there you go. It was a bit better because I started talking more closely to the mic. And now I'm talking the normal distance away from the mic, and it should sound normal now. So yeah. I'm guessing you, hopefully you could at least slightly hear what I said before. So let's play some games. I've got a bunch, including the ones in the title of the stream and ones that are not in the title of the stream. And But I want to start with one that is in the title. And that is going to be London Taxi Rush Hour. Which is a game I said to myself, if I ever see it, Yakov, thank you for the subscription. I greatly appreciate it. Enjoy your taco. You did promise that sub. That's true. One of these days, I'm going to fix up um, clip art bots so it'll actually spam the sub emote that I have. That's like literally actually a sub in Finger Facey. Might take a minute for the emote to go live, but it should be there soon. So, London Taxi Rush Hour is, believe it or not, the first game from Data Design Interactive that I own. And if you don't know who they are, they're basically the king of shovelware on the Wii. They've made like 40 or so games and they're all absolutely terrible. Sorry, I've got... A hair in my tongue, which is not good. Maybe because my hair is super long. Uh, so yeah. Uh, if you watch Fine Sauce, you streamed a lot of these games. This is the first one I've ever streamed because it's the first one I owned. Um, I vaguely thought about speedrunning this game like several months ago. <coughs> uh, bless me, I'm sorry. I tried to hit the button to mute the mic, but that button is kind of broken. Long hair in the summer is the worst. Yes, it is. Lack of motivation to get a haircut in the summer is even worse, which is what I currently have. Um, so yeah, months ago I was thinking of speedrunning this game, but I never bought it. But I said to myself, if I ever see it in a store, I will pick this up. And then I went to one of the game stores uh, around and someone had traded this game in on June 26th according to the sticker on the box and so I bought it and now I'm going to insert it into my Wii technically my Wii U but shh details if I had to guess it's probably, it might, might have been a full year since I've gotten a haircut last. It's been a long time. You know, I have to drive like five 
minutes to get to a haircut place. The game is London Taxi Rush Hour, as you can see here. Also, I bought one of those dolphin bars, which is like a Wii sensor bar, but it works for a dolphin, but it also works with your regular Wiis because uh, a sensor bar does not actually have to be plugged in to the console itself to work because there's no interactivity there. It's just to give it power. So I have it plugged into my computer and I'm using it as just a sensor bar for my Wii U. And that way I don't have to have the cord going across the room, so that's nice. I'm gonna hear that again. That sounds awfully similar to Rock Music 2 from Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. I don't know why that suddenly came to mind, but uh, we need we need to have a comparison here. All right, and now this one. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very, very similar. Not identical, but similar. Well, anyhow, we're taking a trip to London. It's rush hour. We're in a taxi. Let's do this. Put on and tighten the wrist strap. No, thank you. I would have started streaming a few minutes earlier, but uh, one of the cabinets in the kitchen exploded. That actually happened. Shelf fell off, broke a bunch of glasses. This is very bad. I look forward to it. Oh, it had more Wiimote things. I didn't see them. Data design, interactive, and bold games. It's bold that they put this out to stores. If it's as bad as people are indicating. This is my first experience with data design in real life. I've had plenty of video experiences, but no gameplay experiences. So I'm excited to endure the design of data. Please choose a profile. Let's go with profile three. Feeling three. Oh, let's just choose the profile again. What's the dog doing there for? Why is why do I have zero golden dogs? Uh, I don't need to know how to play. I'm assuming it's just hold it sideways and steer. So we got time games, earn a fortune by making as many drops as you can against the clock. This is very vague because it doesn't define how much money a fortune is. And what is a drop? Is it like a drop of water? A drop of cyanide? I, I have no idea. Let's try to reach your target earnings. It's a bit less vague. Although it doesn't say what the target is, but it does at least imply there is one. And this is do everything. Don't screw up, do everything. I feel like I wouldn't be very good at that. At least not starting off. How long do you want to play for? 8 minutes, 15 minutes, or 25 minutes? Uh, very specific numbers, I guess eight minutes. We have to unlock all of these. I don't think we're gonna do that. So we're gonna be Andy here. Rev up our taxi. Crazy taxi, it was three, five, and ten minutes, and that felt long. This is gonna feel like an eternity. Yeah, that's a good question. Who was the person in the development of this game that actually decided those numbers? 8, 15, 25. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe he got a fortune cookie and those were the numbers of the fortune. Westminster. Press the A button to get in. All right. Oh, frame rate is great. This is the best frame rate of any game I've ever played that had a worse frame rate than this. Taxi! This guy wants a taxi. He wants to go to the House of Parliament. Let's go. Oh, I need to go the other way. I 
Wait, what did I hit? There's just a random car that I couldn't see. I ran straight into it. Thanks, graphics. I'll see you drive on the left side of the road in London, which I, I might have forgotten about. Which might have contributed slightly to that. There we go. I got 21 pounds. West Park. Let's do this. Oh, is that like a... I think that's a better Twitch TV emote. I have those enabled in chatty and on the stream, but I don't really like the better Twitch TV emotes. So I don't have them enabled when I watch other streams. Yeah, emotes are also not showing because of net neutrality, which I think is pretty cool. I don't know if it'll be effective at all in actually not stopping or, or stopping to stop net neutrality, I guess. If, if you know what I mean. It's hard to use words to describe. But. I don't know, short of like Google actually fully shutting down what would get people to take action. Or like, by people I mean the general population and not just tech savvy people. Like, I signed one of the forms, but... Is your average Joe going to really care or understand what it is? I heard an NPR segment about it on work this morning. Wait, did he not pick me up? Why did I not pick this guy up? I have to press the A button to continue, not the 2 button. If you press the 2 button, nothing happens. But yeah, my coworker was playing a segment about net neutrality on NPR this morning. They got Tay Zonde uh, on the show. They interviewed Tay Zonde for BBC NewsHour about net neutrality because he is a relevant person in the year 2017. My favorite thing Tay Zonde ever did was that Twitch stream where the audio broke and he couldn't figure out how to fix it so he just kept going. And there were like a hundred different audio channels of him just on delay interfering with each other going at the same time. It's a pretty great video if you haven't seen it. This is not as bad as I was expecting it to be, honestly. No. Oh, the taxi is too dirty. I need to clean. Oh. Now it's alright. Okay. So apparently, at one point, my taxi was too dirty. Okay, if you shake the remote, you can boost. I would not recommend doing that. I think it just makes things worse. It just makes it harder to control. I also don't know how you clean your taxi. But as far as controls go, I re remember people saying this controlled awfully, and honestly it doesn't. It controls alright. Maybe I've gotten... okay, maybe I've gotten too good at crappy racing games. He is fed up. I earned negative 12 pounds. Use the ramp, alright. Oh, I can pick up the golden bulldogs. You need to collect the appropriate pickups. I think that blue pickup there might be appropriate. But I want the coins. I got two bulldogs. There we go. I've got a clean taxi. And I feel like I already picked this guy up. Or something very close to here. Can we tip over the this thing? Nice. Look at the graphics on that bus. It's a very three-dimensional side of that bus. Not flat at all. So I guess that might be a boost refill? I don't know. He 
seem to be fairly neutral about that ride. This part, yeah, I've somehow done a loop of picking up the same people again. I guess my goal is 250 pounds and I've earned 176. Oh, I've made this guy angry. He's not happy. Yeah, he's fed up. I drove too badly. Oh god, these cars. It's havoc on the streets of London. <laughs> Great, there's a, another car there. Just get stuck. Go to St. James Park. Let's do this. Can I take a shortcut? Oh, there's another ramp. Hold on. That didn't work. Oh, now I've done it. Uh. Can I... Uh. Can I reset myself? Or am I permanently stuck? Okay, I boosted and now I'm just more sideways. I think I might have soft locked the game. He's yep, just uh, exit the door through the floor. That's how physics work. Restart's just gonna restart the whole thing, right? I would think. Yeah, I'm. I'm stuck. Yep, that restarts everything. Brilliant! There's no reset. Seems like a feature you would want, even if the game was good at physics. Going, what's the perfect day? I can be perfect. No, I can't. At this game or at life. Nobody is perfect. But we're all equally imperfect. Except Andy. Andy is more perfect than all of us. I mean, look at that smile. That is the smile of perfection. Game's loading. All right. So I have to... So basically this is just deliver every single person in London and don't mess up any of the deliveries. That seems absolutely terrible. Thank you for spinning me around, car. Very nice. I appreciate it. Taxi, taxi, taxi! Thank you for clearing that up. We needed the 12 different instances of the word taxi on that zone. Please take me to the, the hall, the county hall, I think. Okay, I don't want to play this anymore. It's not good and not funny good, or funny bad. It's just bad. I expected more entertaining stuff from you, Data Design. You have slightly disappointed me. I did get some generic public domain rock music to listen to, though. That is true. Let's see. Let's play another game by the same publisher. Not the same developer. The same publisher. Which is actually weird. Does this game have two publishers? Oh, no. I see. So, there's this company called Destineer who published this game, London Taxi Rush Hour, but they used a different... Company is published under Bold Games, which is a Destineer company, which is presumably like their shiverware company. So, like, 
they're a shovelware company themselves and they've made a separate company for what is shovelware for them so it's like double shovelware this other game is actually one I've wanted for years and almost bought a couple times but never did until recently I've got another game like that as well but this one is Rec Room Games and it's probably like Game Party if you remember Game Party I think I streamed Game Party 3 on one of these I think the last one I might have done actually My last test on Wii Fit Plus was over one week ago. Can you believe that? I really need to get back into the Wii Fit Plus. Not really. It's licensed by Nintendo. That's good to know. We'll see if it's good, though. Probably not. It may have the Nintendo seal of approval, but does it have the competency of approval? The tin seal of approval? I have no idea what I'm saying. Yeah, it's one of those collections. Uh, we got more games and more games. Just infinitely more games, except it's the same two sets. Uh really wanted me to play ski ball so let's do that I'm a dog yeah I I will be Joey the dog or Ruby the cat be a robot a monkey okay I'm the dog uh, sorry Tim and Dave you're not playing come on so I can continue I might be too close to the sensor bar actually which means I'm gonna have to talk slightly louder, or at least turn up the gain slightly on the mic. Score 320 points to win. Very specific number there. All right, so how does this work? I'm gonna play it like Game Party. I think that worked. Oh, that's very floaty. I was not expecting the physics to be that floaty. Wee! Hey, I did it. Oh, I only have five balls. That's... That's pretty hard to get 320. In fact, I've already lost, I think. I don't think I can win now. Ten points. Uh, let me try for this one on the far right. Nope. Oh, I see. You roll five balls at a time until someone gets 320. Okay, it's not. You have to get it in, in five rolls. That makes more sense. This is not something that needed to be a two-player game. Yet here we are. We have a computer opponent. Player Joey. <laughs> it's not player one. It's player Joey. Oh, it was a bad throw. Why am I still playing this? We, we can play other things. We got 20 different games. Apparently this uses Wii Motion Plus. Is that actually true? Yes, it is compatible with Wii Motion Plus. Sold separately. But it seems like on the back of the box only some of the games might be Wii Motion Plus compatible. Air hockey. I like air hockey. Come on, Stephanie. Let's play some air hockey. What is this thing doing? Why is it so wobbly, the remote? Point at the Wii remote. At the screen to control the paddle. All right. 
right? Oh, this is exactly like how it was in Game Party 1. Is it? Oh, why are there... Okay, it's not exactly, because there are multiple paddles. Or hockey pucks, I should say. And one of them was a star? What is going on here? Oh, that was a lovely sound. Thank you for that. I'm trying to play, but my sensor bar is not behaving the best. Yeah, it's, it's a star that's on fire, and now my puck is, like, on fire. That sounds very dangerous. Whoops. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, like why is my paddle huge now? <laughs> this is a weird air hockey. This is, like, a really great concept, but then you actually play it, and it's like, no, this is not great at all. The Wii Play version was kind of okay, though. Maybe just because it was all neon-y. And if you held down the buttons, you could use circular paddles. Whoops. I own gold. What else is there? Chinese checkers? Why is Chinese checkers in here? This seems kind of out of place. A weird board game. And then these tabletop games collections. Uh, I'll be red. Oh, you don't even point. You have to use the D-pad. Wait, where? Shouldn't this be a two player thing? Like, I move and then my opponent moves? I also don't exactly remember how to play this. What fun is playing Chinese checkers by yourself? Oh, I can't move. I have no idea what this is. I don't want to do that. One player Chinese checkers is the dumbest idea I think I've ever heard in my life. Did I accidentally turn the computer off there? Totally. Yes. Oh, did they get one player? You can't, you can't have a computer. Totally. Were they just too lazy to program the AI to play Chinese checkers? I'll try darts. I'm a dog playing darts. Let's do this. Alright, that's a fairly standard way of controlling darts in a Wii game. Eh. Whoops! I should not have done that. Drop my Xbox One controller. My second Xbox One controller. I had to buy another one because I dropped the first one so many times that the plug broke. So it would just constantly lose connection. So I should not have dropped that one. That was bad. And when I say dropped, I mean the cord was hanging there and my leg bumped the cord. Chinese Checkers was invented in Germany. That doesn't surprise me considering fortune cookies were invented in America. Hit the bull. I don't see any bull here. 4.25 inches. Oh, this is like who goes first, I think. Anthony was closer. So Anthony goes first. Loser. It's going straight for the double 20. Should be going for the triple 20, though. Loser. Not sure I understand his strategy. Wouldn't the triple
triple 20 be better? So this is kind of just, you have to throw it at the right time to get your dart to go where you want it to. It's less about actually the right throwing speed, although it is somewhat. Like that's not where I aimed. But hey, at least I have put more points on the board than Anthony. Also, I don't care anymore. I've, I have played the darts. There's ping pong. Totally rad. Rad. Totally rad. Totally rad. Woohoo. Woohoo. Yes. yes. Boom. Boom. It's a monkey. Yippee. Yippee. How'd you like that? You like that? Yes. yes. You like that? Gonna play against the robot. Single game, please. Hold left to right on the D-pad and swing to aim B to parachute. Look at this Wii Motion Plus. It's like my Wii Mote is actually the paddle. I suppose that functions. You don't even have to hardly How does this work? I'm hitting the ball with the side of my paddle and it's working. Why is this? Okay, you can kind of fit it with the side as well. I put spin on it, power shot. There we go. Oh, that was too much power, wasn't it? What good is the power shot if it if when you hit it it just flies off the table? Also, this is not like Wii Sports Resort table tennis where you have to aim the ball and you can like the other person can hit the ball so it's too far away from you to hit. You can just always swing the Wii remote and you'll always hit the ball. You can just Rally forever and ever and ever and ever until you screw up like that. I've not been able to get a single point on this guy. Oops. This is first to 11, first to 7, first to 10, first to 17 and a half. Okay, I'm, I'm bored. I like the concept of this game. I don't like the game. Peg. Are you serious? It's that game you get at Cracker Barrel. When you're waiting for your food to arrive, you play the peg game. Wow. Uh, no, this peg goes there. Uh, no, let's put that there. I'll try to keep this vaguely symmetrical, which is probably not possible. screwed up? I think so. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have two left. No, I'm gonna have three left. Which I think according to Crack Barrel makes me just plain dumb. If I remember correctly. On their little peg games. 
Man, I'm glad that was included in this compilation of games. I bet they put that in just so they wouldn't have to say it in 19 games. Although, incidentally, that's exactly how many Game Party 3 has. This is a maze. What is this, really? Fox maze. Guide a marble through a maze. You know, when I go to a rec room, I always play a maze. No, but, but you know that's not true. You know butts are good. They're not boring. Yeah, it's just Labyrinth. Mode Sudden Death. Oracle Go- what that? I guess Oracle's the name of the board? Yeah, it's this thing. Oh, and it moves incredibly slowly. Like, like, it literally cannot move any faster than this. Like, in real life, you could finish this in like 5 seconds if you're really good. But you probably can't do it in less than 20. Finished! I got 11 points. Shield of Achilles! Screw you, I'm gonna go around the hole. Okay, you can't do that. That's it. I won! Even though I lost. How does that work? Surely there has to be at least one vaguely competent game in here. Dodgeball? That's interesting. What's this? Looks like pipes. Gorodki. I don't know what that is. So let's see how this compares to Wii Sports. Have you ever seen a dog bowl? Well, you're going to now. Okay, it is Wii Sports bowling controls. I mean, it would be bad if it wasn't. What? Why was there an explosion? <laughs> Why did a bomb just go off on the bowling alley? Alright, this isn't even real bowling. It's just a mini bowling table. Wait, what? Oh god, what are these physics? Oh man, this might be the worst one yet. Okay, Stephanie, roll the ball. Wow. Now you could be playing Wii Sports Bowling, or you could be playing this. Which one would you rather play? It's not a bowling alley, but it does explode. So it does have that going for it. And half the time it doesn't register me throwing the ball. Oh no, Stephanie got a streak. Good god. That's a bit violent, isn't it? Let's have the pins explode when you get a strike. Go on. Get a strike. No, you can't do it. Because the way you throw it... Okay, there we go. That was a good throw. I finally figured it out, I think, maybe. I also don't care to do it again to make sure I've actually figured it out and that wasn't just a fluke of me doing well. Really? You're joking me. You are kidding. Tic-tac-toe is a game in here. I can't even press the continue button, wow. Go on, three rounds of tic-tac-toe against Stephanie. Like, it, it claims to have 20 games, but there's like five of them that you would even want to play once. Oh, uh, hold on, this actually, it's called just tic-tac-toe, but this is actually a bit more interesting. You have to throw the thing and knock the number. 
I have nothing great. So there actually is something to this. I take back everything I said about this being <laughs> terribly dumb, even though it is still pretty dumb. I could make a tic-tac-toe game on stream and play. That is true. Oh, Stephanie won because she got the tic-tac-toe. I see how this works. So you have to throw the bean bags on the thing and then it randomly gives you an X or an O or a nothing and if you get three in a row, you win. It doesn't matter if it's X's or O's, you don't have one of those assigned to you. Oh man, this is so bad. Nope, still nothing, come on. Maybe this one. Nope. Good work. Honestly, I don't think this is that dumb. I kind of like the concept. Even if it is a bit... silly and random. Hey, I did it. I got a point. Okay, I don't want to play this anymore, but I don't think it's quite as dumb as other people seem to think it is. It's still pretty dumb, though. Is this, is this shuffleboard or frisbee? It is frisbee. Flying disc, as they call it. What is with this sensor bar? Oh, I see. It's horribly tilted, is why. Hold on, I need some tape to tape it to my monitor better. Uh, where's my tape? It's gone. Well, I'll just remove one of the pieces of tape that's currently on there and put it on it like that. There we go. I have to take that off afterwards because it's kind of actually on the monitor. Which is not great. Uh, yeah, I will continue. You have that in real life. It seems like something that would exist in real life. Flying discs are also things that exist in real life. Got that Wii Motion Plus functionality. Great. Very good. Wow. See, in Wii Sports Resort, you've Throw the disc to the dog. This is the sequel to that. The dog has picked up the disc and now it's throwing it back. <laughs> what was that? I, I was actually trying that time. <laughs> it. What was that? Ah! Like you saw that. I. The disc went the other way. <laughs> it game over. I lost. It was a draw. Again, no AI for this. Use the crosshair. Okay, I see. So you have to aim, and then you have to go back, and then you have to let go. So it, to some extent, it doesn't actually even matter how you throw it, like... <laughs> All right, yeah, we couldn't be bothered to the um, program throwing physics, so you can just, you know, do that, and it works. Another four points. <laughs> oh, these physics are so terrible. Let like you throw. It Completely backwards and then it goes immediately forwards again. Okay, that one didn't work. Alrighty. Might have overthrown it. Come on, bounce back off the wall. <laughs> I 
Oh man, these physics are... This is the worst frisbee throwing simulator I've ever played in my life. Bullseye! Eight points. Just gotta throw it like grandma. Actually, yeah, nice. Two in a row. I won. Man, this is worse than I expected it would be. In terms of gameplay. Ring toss. Table hockey. Dodgeball. Oh, you gotta use the nunchuck. I do not feel like plugging that in. I'm going, what are their basketball physics like? A dog playing basketball? What is this? Air Bud? This game continues the notion that there are no rules against dogs playing basketball. So this isn't actually basketball, this is just... We bought a mini basketball hoop at Dick's Sporting Goods for $19.99 and we put it on top of a trash can and we put it in the living room and we got these little foam balls that we're throwing in there. I have seen Airbud. Don't they say in there that there's no... Actually, I haven't seen Airbud, but I have heard of it. But don't they say that there are no rules that a dog can't play basketball in that game? And that's why they allowed the dog to play basketball. Can I at least... There we go, I got a point. I'm happy. Um, it, I think it goes without saying that the controls are terrible. Like, oh man, are they bad. Or am I wrong about the Airbud reference? Can I get more than one point? I don't think this game is using the Wii Motion Plus, because on the back of the box it says Wii Motion Plus compatible games and lists uh, seven or eight, and then it says also included these other games. One of those is Trash Pan, Trash Can Basketball. Now hold on, there's one of these we have to take a look at. Actually, there might be several. Uh, I've got to find them. Shooting. The back of the box calls this rubber band sharpshooter. Shooting rubber bands, like... Is that something you do in a rec room? Shoot rubber bands? Do you put a toy basketball hoop on top of a trash can in a rec room? Well, hey, it... I guess we motion play. What is this? Oh my god. What? Wow, that poppin'! <laughs> oh man, that might be the worst poppin' I've ever seen in any video game I've ever played in my life. Shoot the gnomes! Gotta take advantage of that Wii Motion Plus. It's a selling point. If we say this game's Wii Motion Plus compatible, we'll buy it. What else are they going to do with their Wii Motion Plus besides play Wii Sports Resort? Which is definitely not infinitely better in any way. Yeah, shot that fire hydrant and that bomb. There's no penalty for just spamming the gun, so you know, you just spam the gun. I never played Skyward Sword. I got points. That was that was a thing, let me tell you. A thing that arguably could be played. Probably the best controlling games I've played so far because it was just point at the screen and press the B button. And spam the button. In terms of gameplay, you know, it's as bad as the others, but it actually controlled 
Okay. There's another game on here called Hillbilly Golf. Which sounds like something I have to find. Hillbilly Golf. Oh, it's not actual mini golf. It's just this thing. Or you throw the string and it goes around the thing. Yes, it's an... <laughs> hmm. This is another one of those things that you can pick up at your local sporting goods store for $29.95. Putting it in the basement. This is not dangerous at all. Look at that Wii Motion Plus. We just cut off Sonic the Hedgehog's hand and we taped a bolo to it. Nope. Also, I'm a dog doing this, by the way. I'm a dog controlling Sonic the Hedgehog's hand, trying to throw a bolo onto whatever this is. Nope. It might be an inflated glove, but I prefer Sonic the Hedgehog's severed hand. I think that's a better description. Also, let me give you a hint on how good this game is. It's not at all. Can we do it? Nope. How many attempts do we get? There we go. It worked. I got a point. Another point. You know, why would you play a video game representation of this when this is something you could easily just go out into the store and buy and play in real life? I garrote myself with the bolo. I don't know what garrote means, but I mean, I can probably garrote myself with the bolo on the pool stick cabinet thing with the hogwash with the snapper Tom Sandy I'm just making it random words now that sound like garrote and bolo I want to get to the yellow or blue peg. Okay, I don't care. A length of wire you use to strangle someone. Oh, okay. I have Hitman. I never played it. I bought it, though, and I think it's free. That's great, and I never played it, so I just wasted money, essentially. Not like I've never done that before. So that is... Rec Room Games. It's really bad. Like, surprisingly so. I thought I might be at least vaguely competent. Also, a piece of the disc or the case broke. Like, I, like in my mind, I was comparing that to Game Party 3, which is actually somewhat competent and enjoyable. This is not. This is infinitely worse than Game Party 3. Well, not infinitely, but significantly worse. I would have said as I said it. All right. Let's see, what do we play next? Let's play, um, no, let's play, uh, I don't know if My Sims is shovelware per se. But we'll play that at some point soon. Let's play this game. This is another game, like Rec Room Games. I won it for several years and buy till recently. This is another one of those. It's by Zoo. And it is called wait for it as I insert it into the system. It's called Build and Race. It's a game where you build and you race. And 
pretty sure this is just going to be a, a pretty bad track mania ripoff. Now that is a quality logo. Very modern. I like the background. It's just scrolling. Looping forever. Music just ends. We don't need that to loop. The logo on the box is completely different, by the way. In case you were wondering, put on and tighten the wrist strap. You are a maniac if you don't wear the wrist strap. Like, are you insane if you don't wear the wrist strap? The answer is yes, according to this. I might be exaggerating slightly. I have no fuel. Oh, I'm filling up the gas tank. It's like I'm actually at the gas station. I'm really there. Filling up my car right now. Oh, no. All the fuel fell out. So I gotta fill it up again. Wow. It was made by Icon. And published by Zoo. Checking Wii system memory. Hold on! There's a hold on screen. So you can build a track. Or you can race on a track. It's the name Build and Race. You can build, you can race. You can also do other things. Let's race first, and then we'll build. Uh, Auto Race City, sure. Uh, a school district, how about it? Alright. Two whole cars to choose from. I mean, we are living in luxury right now. Let's give it the... Uh, oh man, this will take forever to scroll. Sure, we'll be green. Spoiler 5, because that looks ridiculous. And... Wheels 2. That might be the most hideous car I've ever seen in my life, but whatever. Do 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 we're going. Two one go. Fantastic. Alright, uh no motion controls. Cool. That surprised me. I was fully expecting to tilt the Wii Moat and have something happen. Uh why what are you saying excellent about? That was the opposite of excellent. I'm in 7th place out of 7, because that's a reasonable number. So yeah, it's a D-pad to steer game, at least by default. Maybe there is an option to use motion controls. Change the camera. What is the point of view on here? It's like the camera is 25 feet up in the air. Fantastic. That is a random superlative, thank you for that. B button is nitrous. Alrighty, let's pause, let's reset. Whoa, that was weird physics. I like the ultra generic music. That guy. Cool! You passed some guy that crashed for some reason. Excellent. Excellent. So every single time you pass someone, it just says that. Is it gonna say that again once I pass this guy again? If I pass this guy again. Let's use my nitrous. That did not help at all. Fantastic. Brilliant performance. Brilliant performance. I didn't even pass it yet. I still gained a position. How did I gain a position without passing anybody? Did someone crash and I didn't see it? Cool. Excellent. Heavy hit on Holly. Fantastic. Fantastic.
I got a podium. It was excellent. That's it. We raced, so now we must build. After all, the name of the game is Build and Race. New track, please. I'll try black. Ah! Uh, no quiero. I guess for science we must. Connect and then check to the Wii remote. Man, this cord got tangled up. It's been a long time since this nunchuck has been used, I think. Nunchuck connected. Nunchuck connected. You did it. Congratulations. You're the nunchuck connecting champion of the world. All right. How does this compare to Trackmania? It looks... Uh, the same, pretty much. There. Alright, straights. Okay, bends. Large jump. Can I rotate? How do we rotate a piece? I don't think you do. Misc buildings, tall arrows, straight bends. Okay, put a bend right there, right after the jump. That'll be annoying. How do we... How do we rotate? Okay. Oh man, this is really bad. Oh, the one button. Okay, one and two. That makes sense. Can I finalize the track? Building track. Recording race line. Is that recording my race line? Oh, it wants me to steer with the nunchuck. Okay. That's not strange at all. So is this the line the AI is going to use? So if I just do a 360 spin here, is the AI going to do that when they race this track? Did that not count? I think I need some sort of checkpoint, maybe. I can't really care. That's it's it's it's, it's, uh, it's not good. It's not good, Mike. Not good. Don't want to build a track in the track editor. It's not good, mate. It's not good. Who made this? No one. Grid. Steering. Does it have motion controls? No, it's just sensitivity. Oh, it does have tilt controls. Okay. And there's the steering option again. I can edit the profile name. Ack. I didn't accept that. I like it as a fake picture of a me there. If 
That is what I would consider shuffleware. So we've played three games, none of them have been good. None of them have been particularly entertaining either. Uh, so let's play... I don't know if one of these is going to be entertaining. Man, I should have thought about that before I started streaming these. Hey! Hey, Tin. You want to play some games? How about some that are boring and we'll stream those? I bet people will enjoy that. People like to be bored. Except they don't. Um, okay, here's a game that's not exactly shovelware. You'll be my stream buddy for now. Alright, thank you. Chicken foot. So, this is not really shovelware, but I figured it's worth streaming uh, because it, it might not be boring. Or it might be. I don't know. It's Cooking Mama World Kitchen. You get to cook. You get to be a mother. There are not many opportunities for me to be a mother, but this is one of them. Uh, cords are in my way. No, they're not. Now I can press the button on the Wii to eject the disc and then put the disc in the tray and then close the box and then take the other disc and put that in the Wii and turn around. I've turned around and I'm going to unplug the nunchuck because I don't need that. And I'm going to press the A button and I'm going to start. There's a dog. Hey, NDL, if you can hear me, thank you for saying a word in the chat. It's licensed by Nintendo in very big words, but will we get the tin seal of approval? I say yes because I've played this already by Cooking Mama Limited. Cooking Mama. World Kitchen. All right, let's cook. Let's play an actual good game for once. Is it loud? I can make it a bit less loud. I've made it a bit less loud. So, the start you get to create your own character. And I made the most emo looking kid possible. This is him. He's who we're going to be cooking as today. How do I get out of this? I think I have to scroll through here. Yeah, that's the hairstyle, the hair color, the clothes. So let's cook with Mama. I basically made myself. I, I'm not that emo. Let's see, what can we make? We can make Nestle Tollhouse Famous Fudge. Or pizza. Might make pizza. Barbecue. I actually had barbecue. Uh, for dinner. Hamburger. I made a club sandwich before. Nestle Tollhouse Chocolate Chip Cookies. I, uh... I want to make a pizza. Random dog in the background? That's nice. Please don't eat the food. That's an ingredient. You can do it. I can do it! I'm the cooking sun. Putting the salt into a bowl. That was incredibly difficult. Press the A button, slide to the right. Wow, even better than Mama. That was very well done. If that was even better than Mama, Mama's not very good. We need this pizza. Get it? Do you get the joke? It's like need and need. Ha 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 ha. 
Just shake the Wiimote. You can do it. And you can do it. Oh. I didn't do it. What happened? I made Mama's eyes catch fire. It's probably not a good sign. Cookie Mama's voice actress has always been terrible at English. You can barely understand what she's trying to say. Okay, so you just keep doing it. Okay. Wait, what am I doing now? Uh, is that what I want? I guess. There we go. Get some fanfare going. Been doing whatever this is. Yeah. You did it. Almost there. Oh, we wow. did it. That's great. I wish I had one of the Cooking Mama wow. DS games. I don't. I bought the first one at Walmart once, but then I returned it because I decided I didn't want it like a madman. I mean, Cookie Mama is great. Why would I return Cookie Mama? I don't know. But I did, and I regret it. And I could have bought it at the game store recently for like five bucks, but it. I didn't do that either. And I went again recently, and someone else had bought it. And now I'm spitting the pizza dough. It's like I'm really Mr. Pizza Hut. I'm Papa John himself. Little Caesar would be proud. Whoops. Dropped the dough. Okay. Dough Mama dropped the dough. I have to try harder. Try harder to not drop the dough. What if I dropped it on the dog? Do you think the dog would be happy? Probably not. Spread the tomato sauce on the dirty pizza dough that's now been on the floor. This is not working very well in terms of motion controls. I've put cheese. Okay, that's how you put pepperoni on a pizza. Now you know. So you put mushrooms on a pizza. I guess I didn't get too hard. There we go. We at least got the olives on there. But I hate olives. It's like the worst possible pizza. It's just an olive and cheese pizza. But that was okay. Now we get to bake it in the oven. Are you ready? Alright. This is a very large and empty kitchen. You can do it. Just noticed. Close the door. Now. Oh, that was perfect. Yeah, smell that pizza. All the bacteria from the floor that you're not going to put in your mouth. Wow, even better than Mama. You can operate an oven. Congratulations. Did I get a bronze medal at least? That looks like an alright pizza. I got 58. Which is apparently bad, but it's still a bronze medal. I did it! I got... What is that? A taco? A kebab. It's not a kebab. A kebab is... Oh, I accidentally did the famous fudge. A kebab is this thing. That's a kebab. I don't know what this is. Did they get the names wrong on some of these things? Because that that's, doesn't really look like barbecue. It looks like a kebab. But whatever. Uh, no, I want to make the Nestle fudge. They're famous fudge. 
World famous fudge. Or at least Toll House famous fudge. The Toll House is the world. You hear it for, here first. Uh, I want the Nestle Carnation evaporated milk. The only brand of evaporated milk that will do. You can do it. I bet you didn't know this stream was sponsored by Nestle. Well, it is now. Uh, the butter. Is that the Nestle butter? I hope so. Please don't tell me you're putting that Lando Lakes crap in here. Some Nestle sugar. You can do it! This is not easy. Oh, I put the wrong thing in. Put the wrong thing in again. Mama, help me! What is this? What? What? I'm spinning the Wiimote. What is going on? I had to blow the butter away from the pan before it went in the pan. What the? This is not cooking. This is a fever dream. Uh, Toll House. Oh, I burn it. That went well. I burnt the cookie dough, or the fudge dough. Man, can you actually go to the store and get this fudge mix and make fudge? I might actually do that. Oh no, this is actually selling me. I'm just uh, going up and down on the Wii mode. I'm not spinning it around like it wants me to. I think the DS games are better. I played a mobile Cookie Mama game, which is probably similar to the DS ones. And beyond the fact that it costs like $20 to get everything, it seems alright. I did not spend money on it though. I would get like Cookie Mama 5, but that's still like 30 bucks. Which is kind of a lot of money. I poured in the fudge! That actually looks kind of good. Man, I want fudge. Can I eat the disc? Will that give me the fudge? Like, there's gonna be pictures of fudge on the disc. If I eat the data, is that like eating the fudge? That dog just keeps being in the background the whole time. What if I pour the fudge on the dog and then put the dog in the oven? It sounds like a bad idea. Put it in the fridge. Oh, we don't bake it, we freeze it. I like how it says Cookie Mama on here to remind me that this is Cookie Mama and not organization parent. What do I do with these sodas? Like, seriously. Have I made enough room? Okay. Plop. Wow. In Cookie Mama, you get to organize a refrigerator. Now, if that's not a great marketing pitch for this game, I don't know what is. The only Wii game where you organize refrigerators. It's right here, folks. Fudge! Oh, I thought this was a taco! Could have fooled me. Here's another one. Just waggle the Weebo. Waggle the Weebo and you do it. You sliced it up. You made the Nestle Toe House famous fudge. There it is. Oh, look at that. You could almost eat that. Like, maybe you should teach me. I got 80 points. I burnt the fudge mix. I should not be teaching you, Mama. You've got a new recipe. Oh, I got a smoothie. That's nice. 
Fruit juice. I drink fruit juice sometimes. I don't make it myself, though. Cookie Mama. Uh, what do I want? No, not that job. no, don't. Don't pick the fish. Orange, that's what I want. I want the fruit. No. Fish. No, I want fish juice. Am I, like, losing my balance when I pick the fish? What's going on there? Alright. Well done. You made fish juice. Peel the banana! It's just waggling the remote really again. Is everything waggling? Oh, I dropped the you banana. Thanks, dog. Wait, what? The dog fell over? Oh, no. What? I'm not entirely sure what just happened there. Okay, what do we do with the banana? <laughs> you have to put the banana peel in the trash can at the right time. Or else the dog trips over it. You can do it. Is this pet abuse making the dog pick up the trash can? One out of three. Keep it up. One out of three isn't bad. I mean, it kind of is. Cut the orange. I did it. You can do it. I have to spin the orange around and cut it more. Strawberry! Don't give up! All Don't give up! Here. Cutting that strawberry was the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Even better than Mama. But I did it even better than Mama. Use the mixer! Make your own fat tunes! With MTV Music Generator 3! You can do it! Ah! Help me! Help me, Mama! I handle it. it! Wait. Pick it up! Pick it up! She fell down. Oh no. Uh oh! Huh? Top's gone. Where'd it go? It, it entered orbit. Uh, it is now an identified it's flying okay. object. It should reach Saturn in 2037. It's out. Now, how does that how is that complete? I didn't finish blending it. it. it be I didn't do very well. Ice cream! Soft serve ice cream. Now, is that Nestle Toll House ice cream? So that's what really matters. Um, what else do you want to cook, chat? If anything. You can also... Uh, cook with friends, but that's just instead of mama, it's a friend and mama doesn't help you. But I feel like mama helping you is what you want. Because that has the dumb cutscenes and mini games that are absolutely ridiculous. Potato balls, alright. I have no idea what a potato ball is, but we're gonna make one. Alright, see you, chicken foot. Thanks for stopping by. Put the lid on. Pre oh. Check it out. That's not fair. The bar went up faster once it reached the part where we're supposed to press A. It's okay. Mama will help you. Peel the hot veggie. If you know what I mean. <laughs>
You can do it. Ah, uh, oh. Help me. It was too hot. Hot potato. Go. Get really angry, Mama. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Whoops, I slid too far. Here you go. Cookie Mama drifted into outer space. Okay, I see. You have to press the A button fairly frequently or else you'll burn yourself. I'm learning. I didn't even have to press A that time. Yeah, that's how you... Peel potatoes with a, a hand. Don't use a potato peeler. Just use your hand. Mash the veggies. Oh, that, that was violent. You can do it. Shake it off. Hurt my hands. But don't mash that hard. You can do it. Hang in there. Shake it off. Oh dear, I hit the thing. You can do it. Can we finish? Oh, we only had one left. Oh no, he didn't mash all the veggies. But that was well done, I suppose. All right, what now? Eggs. You can do it. Or just, just the one egg. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Put the powdered cheese in the bowl, please. That's great. That's great. Yes, uh, this is where you learn to be the master chef. I am Gordon Ramsay himself. Teaching you how to make food that's not raw. And actually tastes good. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your potato. And you want to grab a Wemo and you want to spin that counterclockwise several times. You don't want to put your hand in the bowl that doesn't have potatoes, because then you can't mix the potatoes. Oh, this is so bad in terms of recognizing motion controls. I'm doing the motion, it just doesn't work. Like, it's not working! Okay. No, wrong. Has there ever been a good game with motion controls that wasn't a Wii series game? Keep it up. I'm beginning to think the answer is no. You can do it. Pat the potato. Here you go. Tell it everything's gonna be all right. Give it some emotional support. Now, you can do it. Oh no, I sneeze. Here you go. Almost there. You know, at some point, the developers thought to themselves, you know what would be a cool oh, gameplay gosh, mechanic? Yeah. What if the character sneezed while rolling flour on the potato ball wow, even better than mama. and then they programmed that into the game left 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 okay a you oh that was too it. early There you go, I have to wait for them to get... Nope, other one. I 
did it. Uh, no, okay, more. More balls. We are ball cooking. Whoops, that was the only one. I shouldn't have done. Uh, that one's gonna be burned. It's burned. I think five of them were good. I have five good balls out of eight. Three bad balls. It's a lot of balls. Those are potato balls. 57 points! Wow. Four out of seven. If only it was five out of seven, then I could have made a, a dumb joke. What even is that that I got? Tempura. Alright. I'm kind of done with cooking, Mama. I cooked. I made Mama proud. I got 57 points. Let's now play My Sims. Because that's one of the games in the title. So I figure I should probably play that eventually. My copy has two games in it. It's My Sims and My Sims Racing on one disc. That's like double the my and double the sims. Please insert the Cooking Mama World Kitchen disc. I have ejected that disc, actually. And I will now go back to the Wii menu. I will return. is the sound the disc makes. I've decided. Kazuba! I, uh, I never had this game, but I played a copy that my friend had. I borrowed it a couple times. And I kind of... I remembered liking it. I kind of liked it. It'll be interesting. See, I haven't played this game in almost a decade. So I'm curious to see what my saves are like. If I ever got far into the game. We can either play My Sims or My Sims Racing, or if we put our cursor in a very specific spot, we can play both at the same time. But let's play My Sims. So this is like a, a building game. For kids, it's like, oh, uh, the Sims are, are too edgy. They're too adult-like. Let's make a game for kids that's like the Sims. Let's put a chicken leg with a happy eating face on it. One of the DS version of this game. I have no idea if that's anything like this. We will see. Actually, we won't see because we're not going to take a look at the DS version. That guy has a sushi hat. We have to build the house that's right for them. Can I skip this? Yes, I can. I remember this game also having long loading times. Uh, I'm already sick of this theme. Uh, my some... No, I... Can I load? 
my old save file from the standalone game. I guess not. I guess I can't load my old save file. That's a shame. That makes me wish I didn't buy the compilation and I bought the uh, copy that only had my sims, which was 10 cents more expensive, which is why I bought the one that also included my sims racing. The more you know. I, mean, I don't want to play this now if I have to start from scratch. I wanted to load my old save file and see what I had made from 10 years ago, but now I can't do that. That is seriously disappointing. Like, that ruined any sort of plans I had for this game. Um, uh, ten, I guess. I'll pretend like I actually care now. You like Sims Bust now? I never played any of the console Sims games, although they made a lot of them for some reason. Like, I know there's like the Sims 2 Pets on console, like, do you need the base game to play the Sims 2 Pets? How does that differ from the Sims 2 on console? Here are cutscenes, these are Sims. Sort of. I remember this. This takes a long time to load. Has anyone ever played the Herbs? Sims in the City, I think it was called. Yes, that's a we went with the nunchuck. Okay. Okay. Oh. <sighs> I like that hair. I have brown eyes. Oh, geez, the frame rate. Alright, those are... Can I go back? Oh, I can't go back. Okay, that's good to know. Sometimes I don't care. I, I guess that's me. Uh, probably that hair color is correct. Uh, let's see, what clothes do I want to wear? Uh, I kind of like that, but I don't like the sandals. That works. My sim is tin. He's a representation of me. I do wear glasses in real life. I guess my guy should wear glasses as well. Yeah, it's like I'm GPM now. I'm not buff enough to be him. I don't like any of these glasses. Maybe I'll just have my character not have glasses. Face paint. I've got a bandage for a nose. Sure. How about nothing? I can be a cat. Nothing my preferred face paint. Looking sharp, thank you. Glad I look sharp as opposed to say GE or Panasonic or insert microwave manufacturer here. 
I'm walking on my own. No control over this. How bad is it that I kind of want to go to the store and buy a copy of My Sims without the collection? Just so I can see all the things I made 10 years ago? Is that dumb? Hey, use the nunchuck. It's Mayor Rosalind. We're very close. Narfi Nib. Well, if it isn't Tin, welcome to Tin. Oh, did I name the city Tin? I didn't mean to do that. Well, I'm I'm Tin from Tin now. Soft mod my Wii in Pirate. I do have a, a soft modded Wii. So I mean, I could. That's actually not the worst idea. Can I rename my city or is it just going to be Tin forever? I can sit down in this chair. Oh, do I have to do something? Do you want me to do something? Try pointing to give form. Okay, give form. This aparu. Oh, Delightful paperwork. I love paperwork so much. You're insane. I think I'm going to my house to have a rest. Loading. This may take a few moments. Please do not touch the power button or reset. Well, this is Tin, Tin. Hello, you. Oh, no, he fell over. Ha. Ha ha. Uh oh. They forgot to build my house. But I get to build my house for myself now. See, it all worked out in the end. You can stack blocks up to two stories high. Don't forget the door. put something I don't know if that's one house or if that's two ho houses two heists which is not a word I'm just gonna be a three by three house I think no I don't even want the second floor I'm just gonna be it's gonna be a small house uh, let's put that there let's give it our roof and a chimney. Oh, I think I've uh, put it on sideways, haven't I? Yeah. That's how a roof goes on a house, I think. Oh, we can zoom in. Nice. And then that goes on the back. See, I'm learning how a house works. And then we can put these on the house. That doesn't look weird at all. Actually, I don't like that. Let's not have those on my house. We can put a weather vane on the house. 
find out how windy it is. And a flamingo. I like the flamingo. I'm sure we'll put a gnome there as well. Why not? I got the whole family. We can paint the house. Uh, do you have to cycle through all of these? Oh, it's not that many. Okay, I like the red and white house. Perfect. I am content. That's my house. I live there. In real life. No, I don't. I hear your real talent is using essences. Not just anyone can do that. What are essences? I'm apparently very talented at using them, but I don't know what they are. That seems that you have to sit through for no good reason. There we do. I don't know why I said here we do. That makes no sense. I meant to say here we go. Here are some red apple ensises. Pick up the apples. Okay. So if you pick up an apple, do you get their essence? Yeah, I shook an apple tree. <laughs> Got some green apples. <laughs> yeah, I, I did it. These aren't apples. They're yellow blossoms. What's this? Empty lot. I need more apple trees. There's Patrick. There's my house. That was built pretty quickly. No wait time on the building. Have these birthed more apples. This tree has an apple, I think. Nice. Uh, I need... To, do I need two more apples? Can I prospect this? No, like... I found it. Or do I actually have to get super close? Dig, aha. I won four stones. Those are not stones, but whatever. Four eight balls that just happened to be underground. You know, the ground, you know, eight balls grow in the ground, if you didn't know that. The little eight ball plants. There's a lot of stuff underground. There just seems to be eight balls and stones. I have 11 eight balls now. What do you do with them? Seven apples and four. I should have 12 apples now, I think. Unless it wanted red apples specifically. Can I plant something? Can I plant? 
plant an apple. Oh, I need to gather 10 red apples. Well, I just planted an apple tree, so I don't know how many apples that wasted. Can I enter the emo person's house? Here he does some cooking with his mother. I like how they let you do anything straight away, or fairly straight away. And there's no lengthy tutorial. I'm gonna wake up the emo girl. I'm gonna be nice to the emo girl. She liked that. I won two. I won three. Sad. Great. I made her happy. She made me sad. Good trade-off. It's just like real life. I'm gonna... Oh, uh, I, can, I can remodel her house by looking at her mailbox. That's logical. This is the Tin Hotel. I like the sound of that. What do you do at the Tin Hotel? That doesn't sound inappropriate at all. I'm gonna be mean to him. That was very not nice. I better be nice to compensate. I won three angries. I've only managed to be sad and angry to people so far. Nice to smile. I'll talk to him. Kididi Jabru. Hey, Atin, I heard the mayor has you gathering apple essences. That's true. I must inspect this elevator. Only hotel guests are allowed upstairs. Can I become a guest? I can sit in that chair. I don't think I can become a guest. Ding ding. It's the train station. And I can wait until night time. Okay, I understand. I want to get more eight balls. Those aren't eight balls, those are purple crowns that someone hid underground. More eight balls! I now have 14 eight balls that were dug underground. My bad mate got 17. Hey, more apples. I did it. Collected the apples. Now I get to head back to Town Hall. Or at least find where Town Hall is. So I don't know. That's probably not Town Hall. 
I'll say this, I do really like the graphic style of this game. It, it, it's a nice looking game, even... Even today, the graphical style holds up nicely. I can sit. I'm sitting. I sat. I'm gonna talk with the mayor because I got my apples. I'm looking the wrong way. Talk with her. King Chongafru? No. Cool. So apparently objects are called essences in this game. This, uh, this looks alright. This looks like a competent game. I wish I could access my save files from like 10 years ago. Oh no, you forgot to build the workshop. You forgot to build that yourself. make this there we go I want it to be symmetrical that's the thing that sure that doesn't really work but whatever on the back for extra light. Nice. That's... Oh, we get wall flares. There's more we can do. Put a fence around the thing. I might have to figure out a way to legally get the original My Sims and load up that save data. Even just to see what it was for myself. Because I'm curious. Got a flamingo. And whatever that is. Cool. I build a thing. How exciting. Get to build a chair, a comfy one. So, part of the thing you get to build is houses, the other thing you get to build is objects. Now we get to build our first object. I like the synth. That's in the way of the sim. Can't do that. There. That's a chair. Drop it off by my house. Da -da 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 -da. Oh good, it stopped. Well, we're walking very close together. Suddenly my house just got a lot bigger. 
There's my chair. Or do I have to put a second chair in there? Oh, now I'm in house decoration mode. What do I have in here? I have a window. I built that chair. I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to put an eight ball off the table. One of my 17 eight balls. Brilliant, that's how you redecorate your house. Now you know. In real life, that's, that's what you actually do. You pull a chair out of your backpack and you set it next to your other chair. And then you place an eight ball from your eight ball collection on top of the table. And it never rolls off, that's physically impossible. Cool, I've got blueprints, which let me do things. I can save my game, okay. Save game. Yay! Okay, now what? You change outfit, I can nap, sleep until day, I can change my look. Can I change the name of the town? I'll probably have to go to town hall to do that if I even can. Let's run to town hall. I don't even know why I particularly care. Where is Town Hall? I can never find it. There's too many things. Is it this way? No, that's to another area. When I have the right tool, I can unlock the desert. It seems. And I can unlock the underground farm as well. No, we don't need to inspect that anymore. What does the relationship book say? Who's my best friend? Oh, I don't know. How's my relationship with Mayor Rosalind? It's eh. It's eh. Violet's interests are spooky people, fun people, but no cute people. Not allowed to be cute. Do you get to date the My Sims and have my kids? There's a tree. That looks another section. I don't remember my stream title. What did I say was going to stream? And I did My Sims, I did London Taxi. What was the other one? I don't remember. Seems like something I should remember. What's this? Dega Sports, that's it, thank you. I'll probably play that and then call the stream. I'm getting tired. I don't know why, it's only 10-ish. Why am I tired? Maybe because I woke up at like 7. Hey there Sport, name's Pat. I've been living here in 10 for a while. And oh no, he's been living inside of me? Oh, that sounds dirty. He probably wants a restaurant to be built at some point. This seems like an interesting game. I might actually play this some of my own. 
Especially once I'm able to load up my old save data by playing a different version of the game. Not the one that's included in my Sims collection. Alright. That's enough of Sims. Uh, what else is there? Let's take his sports, of course. Um, is there another? I feel like I'm missing a game that I never got around to playing. Maybe not. I played Bull to Race, London Taxi, My Sims, Cookie Mama, and Rec Room Game. Yeah, I played five games already. Wow. This is the sixth game. Uh, so yeah, besides My Sims Racing, which I might take a look at sometimes in the future, this was all the ones I had on my table to play. Now this copy of Dega Sports has never before been opened, believe it or not. It still has the sticker 10 Sports and 1 on it. In fact, I am going to... Oh, no, for my... I was going to take a picture of it on my phone, but... My phone is on the counter on the other side of my room, and that's too much effort. I mean, I could do my Sims Racing right now. It's already in there. You know, let's do that. Might as well, so we can say I did. You have convinced me. It was a rather easy convincing. Convincement. Convincation. Convincing, I guess. Maybe there is no noun for convincing. I try to open Deka Sports still in the shrink wrap. It's like I bought a brand new game. I feel slightly bad about opening it up after all these years, knowing I'm probably only going to play it once for five minutes, but whatever. Still trying to open up that Dega Sports game. We're getting there slowly but surely. There we go. I have removed it from the shrink wrap. And now we can play My Sims Racing. Man, this is a thick instruction manual. I knew it felt kind of heavy inside. Judging by the back of the disc. Wait for it. It looks virtually unused, and that's because it is. What is in here? There's multiple manuals. There's... Are they different? No, it literally came with two instruction manuals, except the back cover has different ads. <laughs> one of them has an ad for Bomberman Land, one of them has an ad for Fishing Master World Tour. Beyond that, these manuals are identical. <laughs> yeah, alright, two manuals. Uh, thank you. I appreciate the the generosity. Hint, no polar bears were harmed during the making of... That's not really a hint, is it? That's a statement. Quick race, please. We can be Chaz, McFreely, Mark Kubis, DJ Candy. Oh, we need Violet. Oh, it's a remix of that theme. Uh, is that Tobor? To it's Robot Backwards. Do you get it? I want to be DJ Candy. We can 
Drive this oval tumbleweed track. Was that Pinball Canyon? Let's do Pinball Canyon. It's like Waluigi Pinball, but not. Finish in first, second, or third place. Okay. I think I can do that. Oh, I messed up my start. Yeah, pick up the bowling pin to speed up, I guess. I got a bubble. How do I... Oh, this is going well. How do I use the bubble? I... I have increased air to level 2. Just the concept. How do I jump? Oh, you waggle the Wiimote. Her name is spelled candy. No, it's like the food you eat. It's a variation on candy. Candy, the name, I should say. Super boost. No, I don't think... Oh, I see. Up on the D-pad. Gives you super boost. I've got tons of boost now. Super boost again. I'm going to let you in on a bit of a secret. This is... Not good. Not on the same caliber as Mario Kart. This was not worth the negative 10 cents I paid for it over just my Sims if, had I bought that version. If I had bought that version, I would have been able to load my old saves. Makes me kind of wish I hadn't waited months to stream this. Because if I had bought it less than. If I had streamed it less than two weeks after I had bought it, I could have returned it and bought the Just My Sims one for 10 cents more. Pay more for less, and that's better. Because less is more. But I actually end up getting more, that's the thing. So I get my saves back from a decade ago. Don't want to have to start my sims all over, now do I? Super boost, can we at least not finish last? Probably not. I don't like up on the D-pad is items. I feel like it should be B. That's the problem with the Wiimote, there's not enough buttons. The D-pad sometimes has to be buttons, which is kind of awkward. I didn't, I didn't win or get a podium. I failed. It's another remix of the same theme. Why do you do this? All right, I'm done with that. Let's play Deka Sports, the game with two manuals and 10 sports in one. I believe there's um, also a Deka Sports 2 and a Deka Sports 3. But I only have to take a sports for one.
So I'm going to throw away the packaging that I ripped off. Good news, everybody. I threw that away. And now let's play sports by Hudson. I have no idea if this is going to be competent or not. I hope so. I feel like it could be. It's sponsored by Adidas. Create a new Dacus Sports save file. I have Lego that's sponsored by Adidas for some reason. Also, everybody move your body. I command you to move it. I, I don't care if you're just like adjusting yourself in your chair. That counts as moving your body. That's good enough. Uh, open match, please. Yeah, I'll do kart racing because it was what I was highlighted on. Pick a team. Team Thunder. Mad Maidens. Speed Strikers. Hard Hitters. Disco Knight. Oh, I have to pick those, I think. Boost Force, Crusaders, Average Shows. Yeah, Disco Knights, please. I want to be... Tony. Tony of the Disco Knights, please. Of the Big Force, three laps. Let's go. And everything fades. Oh, that was a neat transition. Shelly, oh, okay. You can't display all the names at once, just four at a time. Man, that's a big size difference between the small and the large cart. It's like larger than Mario Kart. Sports. I am the sports player. How does this compare to, um, my sims racing you might ask yourself well it's a lot more basic uh, I'm doing better at it though so that's something can I win the race place your bets I wonder if there is a copy of this game that didn't come with the manual, because mine came with two. That was some sort of manufacturing defect. Hey, my fake me won. You were wrong, USP. I did win. Everyone except one person's time ended in a zero. What are the odds of that? Probably only calculated the time to the nearest frame would be my guess. What else is there? Basketball! Let's play the basketball against the speed strikers. Oh. Nunchuck, no! All this effort. Are they gonna do the cool fade out thing? Yes, they are. Play. Okay. Oh, this is actually basketball. Like, a, a game. I was not expecting that. I have no idea how to play. Alright. For three. What's that? Oh, I gave the ball to the other person. That was a mistake. That was the most pathetic throw I've ever seen in my life. Alright. That, that's good. Nice. Two points. I figured out how to throw. 
You have to hold back for a bit on the... when you swing. It is motion controls. Cool. For three! Almost. That, that actually works. That feels alright. For three again. No. Get in there. No. Can I shake the ball away? Not really. I just keep getting it back. There we go. Don't bother with those threes. No, don't shoot. I oh, shot. You missed. They still have the ball. I've got the ball now. Aha. No, they picked it back up. It's halftime. Oh, their shot didn't count. Wow. Lucky for me. Also, this is basketball. You know how it works. That was competent. Snowboard cross. Now we're talking. You know, I love me a good snowboarding game. But is this a good snowboarding game? That's the question. Bar is really not very good. A nunchuck is not required for this sport. Please remove it. Okay. Well, look at how complex that course is. Alright, how do I go fast? Just to tilt the Wiimote. Down. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this is not as good as the basketball game at all. This is... This is... bad. This is really bad. That's it. That was the whole game. Aww. Stefan is not happy. What a game. Super Cross! This is another racing game. This is a variant on kart racing. Yes, it is. And I think the controls are worse. Very floaty on the jumps. You can bounce off the walls, which is not something you can do in a real Supercross. Those things are very much not solid. Well, they are solid, but they're not firmly attached to the ground, I should say. Wow, I did a stun by waggling the emo. This is not good. It's not gonna replace your MX Unleashed. Yeah, seventh place. Thanks for the follow. Okay. What other sports are there? Curling. Now we're talking. I think I've said that for every sport. Now, now we're talking. Like, doesn't even make sense. I'm the only one here talking talking to myself.
Can I press OK? Will my sensor bar let me? There we go. Disco Nice versus Open Joe's. It's curl. Now, the only other curling game I know of is the one in Winter Sports for the Wii, which is one of the worst controlling things I've ever played in my life. So, it would be hard for this to be worse. Alright. Neil. Oh, do I push forward, I guess? Yes, that... You're gonna have to do a lot of... A lot of brewing to get that to go all the way. That was not fast. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's not going to get there, I don't think. Alrighty, this is infinitely better than the curling game in Winter Sports. I'll just skip that. Skip to the good part. They have... Okay, it's not very close, is it? Okay, that's pretty fast. Um, don't sweep. Just let that hit the other thing. Hopefully that'll knock it into the bullseye. Yes! Stop, stop. Alright, I'll take that. That was pretty good. Pepe! He's a meme! I'm gonna try to get it closer. They might have. They have, indeed. I can knock that out. Why does my power bar keep getting higher? Full speed ahead! I don't know how you curve the thing if you tilt the Wii to do that. Alright. Ah, oh, I didn't hit the other one. Tricky. Although I might be able to now. I don't know if my first one still might be in the way. Let's see, he taps it. Not quite. He's hit my other rock. I'm slightly annoyed by that. Okay, that's the score currently. Why can they not throw this one as hard? Come on, I need you to go fast, hit that thing. Uh, did I just make it worse? Uh, I didn't make it any worse. I didn't make it better either, though. This is a good curling game. I want to curl it, but I don't know how. So I'm just gonna hit that and try to get that to bullseye. I do not want to sweep for that one because I kind of did more power than I wanted to. Stop, 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 stop. Yes. I have the point. What can the AI do about it? Thank you for the follow. I still have the point. Nice. Um, I'm going to try to knock both of those out. That might get me, uh, like, I might get up to three points. If this works. Come 
Come on. Make it happen. Yes, that was beautiful. Now I've got three. Three stones. But actually, if this guy gets it in the center, which should be fairly easy, they can take all of mine away. Oh, they messed up. Three points for me. I do not want to do six rounds of this, but you get the idea. That is a decent curling game. I'm impressed. Archery! How does this compare to Wii Sports Resort? I'm left handed. Thirty meters round. All right. So this does not require the nunchuck. So I'm curious to see how this works. Okay, it's just aiming, I guess. This is a much more simplistic version than the one in Wii Sports Resort. Did his start go? Right through mine? Or was it removed? Alright, you have to hold it. I can't tell because they're all going in the same exact spot. If the darts are going into each other. Okay, they're not. Wow, bullseye. You have to pull back on the remote, it looks like. Close. No cigar. Twenty-six to twenty-eight. Fifty meter round. Seven. That's not good. He got eight. He's three ahead now. Ah, oh, not nine. That's annoying. Ooh, I have caught up. Let's see if you made an error. That was not great. I think it's a bullseye. We'll pull ahead again. Eight, I'm ahead by one. Is that it? I won! By one point. Nice. That was close. Go on, let's play the rest of the sports. Badminton. This kind of makes me want to get the other Deka sports games. Some of them have been all right. Thank you for the follow. How do I swing? There we go, I've swung. I'm just waggling and it's working. Oh, it didn't work that time. So this is just Wii Sports Tennis but played at a, a weird angle. Okay, this is not one of the better ones in the collection, it must be said.
Ha ha! Don't think you can fool me. Oh, he fooled me. Well, I get the idea. It's badminton. That's... That one's not very good. Very simple. I don't like the perspective. It doesn't feel like you're actually playing. We need all those. There's three more, I think. Beach volleyball and others. Select okay, there we go. Uh, now we gotta select it again. That's half the challenge is just pressing the okay button. So this is gonna be like beach volleyball, I guess. Okay, so this is very simplistic. Um, it's just waggle the Wiimote at the right time, that's it. I'm bad at that, but whatever. It's Waggle City. If there was a city made exclusively of waggling, that would be it. Ignore the fact that that made no sense. Figure skating. Let's play as Lucy. We can do... Madam Butterfly, Carmen, or Violin Concerto. Let's do the most difficult. Nunchuck time. Woo! Now that's exciting. No, it isn't. Look at all these CPUs who have gotten scores. I gotta beat 105.6. I don't know how to play. Oh, uh, what what is going on here? Okay. So we use the uh, nunchuck to steer. And then waggle on the red things. I'm learning. I'm learning how to figure skate. That triple spin jump. I missed it. I think I'm way behind, actually. In terms of being synchronized with the music. Oh man, you, it takes you so long to steer. It's like I'm driving a boat. But I'm actually just controlling a figure skater. There we go, I did the serpentine step. I did it again. And the third time... I can't do it a fourth time though, only three. Figure booting, yep. Too bad. That's it, you don't get to finish. 76 points. That's not very good, is it? Fourth. Well, as a mini game type thing, that was acceptable. Soccer! Can we get a good soccer game? Let's find out. Yeah! 
All right. This is another nunchuck game. Kind of like basketball. This is like full on FIFA knockoff territory here. They try to make it an actual game. Well, it was a nice shot. Straight into the other person. I can't tell who's on which team because the colors are too similar. Purple and pink. You have the ball. No. Don't don't try to steal this ball from me. You. I uh, he stole the ball from me. He's he's got the shot on goal. That was not. It was a very straightforward shot. Not much of an attempt. Oh, it was close. Give me the ball. I've got the ball. I should not have gotten the ball right there. Gonna go again. Gonna go again. No, they're not. Aha. Yes, they're gonna go again. Yeah. Go. Oh, it was almost a goal. I almost did it. Almost tied up this thing. Even though I've had no offensive presence so far. Oh, should I be uh, going for the other goal, actually? I think because we switched sides, I need to be going to the left. I almost old. I almost own gold accidentally. That wasn't a, a goal, it was an own goal. I can't tell because the colors are too similar. It was nowhere close. I don't know how to do all those cool things that people are doing. The headbutts, and the slides. Also, you should buy Adidas clothes and a Nestle Toe House Famous Fudge. Go for it. What was that? You were supposed to go for the goal, not lob it over your teammate. Whatever. Lose. I, I did not play as well as the computer there, I will admit. That was a Deka Sports. Well, you have other things to do, but I don't feel like doing them. We played every mode. And that was all... Is that really all the shovelware I had? I think, it, like, in terms of shovelware... Yeah, and I have some Wii games I've bought a while ago that I haven't played yet, but they're not exactly shovelwares. Boom blocks, and maybe something else, I think. I don't remember. But anyhow, I think I'm done streaming for tonight. Uh, thank you, Yakov, again for subscribing. Thank you to everyone who followed towards the end of the stream. I think Twitch has a thing where on the new mobile app they will randomly suggest people who are live. Uh, to follow based on maybe similar people who you follow and that I feel like that's where those follows came from but anyhow that's that is the stream thank you for watching I'll be back soon probably uh, within the next couple days with some Android garbage and also uh, I'm gonna do a stream soon where I try to reclaim all the speedrunning records that I have lost because I've lost quite a few lately, and I would like to get some of them back. So that'll be fun. 
But until then, hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope you have a good night. And thank you for watching. Goodbye. Until next time. I guess.